Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Kill Daiken, and I just wanted to bring you guys a quick and important update concerning RetroPie and your Supreme Ultra image. Now, as you guys know, a few weeks ago, I debuted the Vulcan drivers on the Raspberry Pi 4. But just to give you guys a quick update, uh, Vulcan has now been fully integrated if you guys have Supreme Ultra. So I'm gonna walk you guys through a quick tutorial and setup just to show you guys that it is available. And if you want, you can compare this current footage from GoldenEye on the Nintendo 64 to the video I did using the Wolfenose image a few weeks ago. So um, if you, the biggest difference is it now looks like you're playing on PC quality, which is a really good thing. Um, the Vulcan drivers uh, definitely reduces lag and it also gives you better uh, quality um, as far as gameplay footage on the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, the only limitation is it only supports a number of emulators. So uh, I know it works with Parallel and uh, the Flycast emulators. So uh, there's a very limited number of emulators that are currently supported using the Vulcan drivers currently. So if you guys want to compare this quick screenshot to uh, one of my previous videos of, this, uh, of the Vulcan drivers releasing on the Pi 4, you can tell that the sky is realistic. You can see the sky is moving, for example. But previously, it was sketchy, black and white, things of that nature. So uh, those are some quick comparisons. So I want to show you guys how you guys can quickly upgrade to the Vulcan drivers using Supreme Ultra. So we're just going to back out really quick. And we're going to go to Options. And then we're going to go to the Supreme Online Toolkit. And once we're here on the Supreme Online Toolkit, we'll hit OK. And we will go to number one, which will be Build Updates, and then scroll down to Supreme Ultra. And you're going to select uh, the last option here, which is Update and Install Vulkan Driver RetroArch 1.9.0. So you will need a keyboard. So once you go ahead and do this update, you will be currently updated to the current Vulcan drivers that are available for uh, RetroPie. And if you go to uh, number seven, so when I eventually did this, uh, integrating the Vulcan drivers, it did mess up the sound and it kind of conflicted with the sound audio drivers uh, on your Raspberry Pi. So if you guys do have a conflict with sound and you're not getting sound after you do the Vulcan update, go to option number seven and this will install uh, the pulse drivers. As you guys see here, it says uninstall pulse drivers. I've already done mines because obviously I had that issue, but uh, that's pretty much it. So once you guys do that, you guys will be able to enjoy uh, some of the newer gameplay um, using Flycast and also Parallel. Uh, there, oh, also PSP too. So if you are using PSP, you will be able to get better um, gameplay footage using the PlayStation uh, set there on the PlayStation Portable. Um, I haven't tried God of War yet, but I do know that you will get better gameplay footage there. I've played uh, a couple of games and I did notice uh, improvements there as well. Um, additionally, uh, I know there were previous issues using the uh, Flycast emulator with Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And I can tell you, I'm not having any issues with that. No slowdown times, nothing at all. So I'm not sure to what degree the Vulcan drivers are improving with that, but I do know that that was a previous issue. And uh, with not using the Redream with the Sega Dreamcast, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but the Naomi ROM, not having any issues with that. The graphics and everything are clear. Just make sure you guys go in and update all your textures. So uh, this is KDK. Just wanted to bring you guys that important update in case you guys haven't seen it around in the forums. I've been playing around with it just a little bit, but um, I haven't seen it really affect uh, some of the arcade emulators. I do believe there is maybe one MAME emulator that takes advantage of it. I can't remember if it's 2003 or 2000 or something, but um, yeah, there's not a lot of MAME emulators that really support uh, the Vulcan process right now, but who knows? I mean, eventually there may be some additional changes, but if there is, I will keep you guys updated about that. So I hope you guys ha have a safe and happy new year. This is Keel Dyken. Catch you guys later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.